and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Right, Brad, we just did a video on spinal orthesis and uh, we did some beginning exercises right. and we kind of described what it is. Right. I'm going to link that right here. Ba -da -ba -bum. Right. This video is for advanced exercises, so you really should look at that exercise. Make sure that you, you understand it and you can do those exercises and then come to here. Right. If you're an active person, if you like to run, bike, you like to swim, uh, anything that's a little more active, golfing would be really good sure. if you have this condition. Okay. okay. So let's get into it. Uh, Bob, why don't you throw yep. me the ball? Now, I'm near and dear to this diagnosis because I have it and I'm a grade one or grade two and I've been using these exercises for about three years now. When I first started this, I couldn't run. I used to be a runner. I was unable to run for maybe a half mile to mile at the most when I was doing half marathons. After three years of doing this, now I can run three to five miles. Excellent. It is not a quick fix, but it is something you need to do. Standing ovation, Brad. <laughs> Very well done. All right, so you need to get yourself a ball. They cost about $15, $20 at a Target or wherever. Physio ball or exercise ball. Yep. They have different names for okay. it. Okay. Google it. And I like doing these because I can get up in the morning and do these while I'm watching TV and catching up on the news, Bob. So you're going to take the ball just like this, and the first thing I'm going to do is lift the ball up like this, and this forces my back to go down and sure. get the posterior tilt without thinking about it. Sure. So I like that. Exactly. Okay? I like to do 50 of these. You can start on it. If you, this is advanced. So you're going to start me. much less. Right. You may only do 15 or 20, but if you only can do that many, maybe you should go back to the other video and do the easier ones. All right. Okay? Then the next thing I like to do is... Tighten up my core, come up to here, and do hamstring strengthening because if you're active, you need to have strong core and good hamstring strength. Excellent. Helps How many do you do of those? I do 12. 12. Okay, you can do 10 if you want, whatever. Um, between 5 and 15, I would say. Okay. I'm glad you picked such a random number, 12. <laughs> a he dozen. Does 12, everybody. Okay. okay. Hands crossed like this, legs over the ball, and simple little crunches. Little crunches. Again, I do 50 of these. You may want to start out at 20 and work your way up. Again, that kind of locks the pelvis uh, into that posterior tilt. You, you better it? believe it. We yeah. should patent these exercises because yeah. they really do work. Okay. And uh, then, again, I'll do another set of 12 hamstring exercises. <laughs> you know I am, Bob. Yeah. I have my ways. A little OCD. Okay. Now, the third set. And th there's definitely a pattern here. We're working the lower abdominal, upper, and now we're going to combine it. Hands here, knees and elbows go up to the middle, and we touch. Wow. And as I'm doing this, my back literally feels good. Does it really? Oh, yeah. It always does. If my back is bothering me, I'll do these, and my pain level comes down. And these are a little harder, but I still do 50 because that's the way I am, Bob. It took me a while to get there. 50 of these. Yep. Not 52. No, nope. 50. Bob. Bob, I said 50. Right. Then I do 12 of these again. All right. Okay. Now, this one's important, and I like this one because it works the obliques and it kind of completes the exercise. Arms like this, right elbow to left knee. Okay. And then I'll press it, left elbow to right knee, working those obliques. And the other side benefit to this one, Bob, if you do it on carpet, it scratches your back. There we go. It really feels good. Double benefit. <laughs> so Nothing I'll do. like it. Guess how many I'll do of these, Bob? 12. <laughs> no, 50. 50. All right. All right. Now, bonus. If you really want to do well, you got to go to the floor like this. And then you're going to bring this leg up. How many times? 12. 12, <laughs> 12 on this side. And then I do do this because I want to keep my range of motion healthy, but this does not put a lot of stress on it. And I'll do 10 of these, but you can do 12. And I do three sets of those, okay? Again, as long as those bring, don't bring on any pain, right, Brad? Right, and they yeah. shouldn't. That's why you use the ball. It supports right around the area where the injury is. Now, this one, uh, you need to be pretty advanced. If you're an athlete, you're going to do this. If you're not, I'd hold. But this... I go here and I work, this is all hips and abdomen, and I keep very steady and very strong with this. And, and then it, for the fun of it, I'll throw straight. in some extra, some push-ups. I do do 10 of these, but you can do 12, <laughs> okay? 
Now, this is a hard one. Then I just go one knee at a time. Okay. That's impressive, Brad. Yep. And then I'll do the other one, which I can't because I got hip injury right now on that leg. And then I'll do that. I'll do three sets of that. And Brad makes this look easy, and it's not at all. This is advanced, and then I do a balance exercise and hold this for a little while. Now he's just showing off. No, I do do that <laughs> at home, though. <no>. Yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, my wife train pushes me over. It's like a train seal. Uh, so anyway, no, the <laughs> they're uh, trained and tried and proven. They're not easy, but again, advanced exercises for you people who like to do the stupid stuff. All I'm right. just kidding. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot.